Here we have a, the higher um, 2015 paper 2 starting off at number 1. Uh, where we have a triangle, um, A which is minus 5, 7, B minus 1, minus 5, and C, uh, 13, 3, shown in a diagram. And we have to show that the equation of the altitude from C is X takes Y equals um, 4. Okay, well, um, the altitude from C hits A, B at a right angle, so we need to get the gradient from A to B. Okay, the gradient from A to B is uh, minus 5 takes 7, over minus 1 take minus 5. Minus 5 takes 7, minus 12. Minus 1 plus 5 is 4. That gives you minus 3. Therefore, the gradient of the perpendicular is a third. So, we have a line with a gradient of a third through um, 13, 3. That's part C, point C. So, y minus 3 is mx minus 13. Multiply through by 3 and you get 3y take 9. You would multiply through by 1. doesn't do anything, of course. just gives you x take 13. Um, minus 9, add 13, gives you 4. x take 3y gives you, obviously, just that. So you have 4 equals x take 3y. So just reversing it, x take 3y is 4, which is what they wanted. Uh, going on to part B. Find the equation of the median from B. Well, the median hits AC at its midpoint. So we need to get the midpoint from A to C. Uh, to do that, you add minus 5 to 13 and half it. You add 7 to 3 and you get 10 and you half it. So the midpoint is 4, 5. So we want a line going through minus 1, minus 5 and 4, 5. So we get the gradient first. 5 take minus 5 is 10. 4 take minus 1 is 5, 10 over 5 is 2, and I've picked uh, 4, 5 as my uh, AB. So y minus 5 is 2x minus 4, multiply through 2x take 8, so y take 2x minus 8 add 5 is minus 3. So y take 2x is minus 3, is that one there, and part C is find the coordinates of the point of intersection. So there we have it. So the first of all, we have x take 3y is 4, and we have y take 2x is minus 3. Now the first thing you might realise is that the x's and the y's are not above each other, as we would normally have. So what I've done is I've swapped these around to minus 3y plus x is 4, and I'm now going to double it to give you minus 6y plus 2x gives 8. I'm going to bring this one, y take 2x is minus 3, just down here, so as you can see the two um, things I'm comparing them to, okay. So minus 6y add y gives you minus 5y plus 2x uh, take 2x. They've gone minus 8 take 3 is, uh, 8 take 3, sorry, is 5. Divide 5 by minus 5 and you get minus 1. So y is minus 1 and x take 3y has to be 4. Um, with y being minus 1, you have x plus 3 is 4, so x is 1. So the point of intersection is 1 minus 1.